Hi, this is Dr. Bob, and today I'm going to do a demonstration of the Dental Duty Professional Dental Guards. Now, what are dental guards used for? Well, they help with um, grinding of the teeth, especially at, at nighttime. And so what this, uh, there's a couple of different ways you can do a guard. One, you can go to your dentist and pay literally hundreds of dollars for a guard, or you can do it yourself with a product like this, Dental Duty. Now, why do I select Dental Duty? First of all, it's because they have two sizes. Now, they have for smaller teeth and smaller, um, smaller mouths, they've got the small size, and then they have the large size. So you want a good, comfortable fit with your mouth guard. And that's why the two sizes. They're the only company in the market today that I know of that does the two different sizes. So here's a couple of tips with the mouth guards. First of all, you want good rolling water, uh, not full boil, but you want a good rolling boil uh, on the water. It depends on if you're going to be at sea level or above sea level a lot of times as to how the product will um, soften and how fast it will soften. So the best thing to pay attention to is the instruction booklet, of course. And it tells you between 18 and 20 seconds is the approximate time frame. If it takes you longer than 20 seconds, your water probably is not hot enough. And so that'll be cool or not as hot. In other words, the, the, the walls will not start to soften, uh, which is important to be able to get a good tight fit. If the uh, water is too hot, then it'll soften um, unevenly and that's not going to be good either. Here's another nice thing about this company. Dental Duty, if you mold it incorrectly and there's nothing you can do about it, they will send you another one free of charge because they want to make sure that you, you get it right. It's not that difficult, but there does take a little bit of uh, skill, if you want to call it that, to get these right. Now, this Dental Duty box comes with four, four molds, Two of, the, uh, small, two of the smaller size, two of the larger size. Today, I'm going to show you how to uh, apply and do the mold on the upper teeth. So let's head on out to my kitchen and we'll do an actual demonstration. All right, I have the tools that I need to be able to uh, soften or make the mold. I've got the mold itself. I've got a uh, paper towel. I use a wooden spoon. Now, if you're going to use a metal spoon, you should have that in like ice water so that the, um, the mold doesn't stick to the spoon. I've got a mirror to see what I'm doing. And then I also have uh, uh, rolling water already heated, ready to go. Now, the process is fairly simple, but it does take a little bit of art to it. If you are at depending upon where you're at in, in the altitude, it could be faster, it could be a little bit slower. That's why we say between 18 and 20 seconds. The best way to really gauge is to watch, and you'll see the walls of the mouthpiece start to uh, fold in on each other. That's when you wanna take this out of the water. Now the key is to not leave this out of the water for too long before you put it in your mouth to actually make the mold. Because if this material starts to really um, cool and it, go, it cools too much, then you won't be able to get a good impression on the teeth. So that's the first thing. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna turn off the heat we're going to move the water off to the side. And then I'm going to go ahead and place the mouth guard into the water. And then I'm going to watch. I'm watching for the, the sides to start curling in. There we go. I'm going to 
going to take this now out of the water. Place it on the paper towel. And what I want to do is I want to spread, separate the walls a little bit. And there's a notch right here and I want to place that on my teeth and Okay, so part of the process, what you want to do is you want to um, suck out the any uh, air or water while you're making the mold to help it. And as you can see, I have a really good indentation of the teeth. Oops, let me bring it down here. See this? You have really, we have a really good indentation of all the upper teeth, as well as the, the lower. Right there. This is exactly what you're aiming for. You want to see good indentation on all the separate teeth, which means now you have a good mold. Now, if this wasn't a good mold, a nice and tight fit, which means you have to try to uh, kind of peel it off. Then what you can do is you can take this, if it didn't mold like this, and you can place it back in the water. And you want to place it back in the water for approximately five seconds. Just enough again to soften the material. And then you want to use your mirror again and you want to push on the sides of your mouth to make sure you get a nice, good, tight fit. And that's all there is to this. And that's a very good tight fit. So once again, what you're aiming for is to get a good, clear delineation of all your front teeth. And of course, you want a good uh, bottom section right here. Now, this comes in two different sizes. It's the only product that comes in two different sizes. So for smaller mouths, you don't have to use um, the material for a large mouth. And if you have a large mouth, you don't have to use the material for a small mouth. This is uh, by far the best product on the market today that I've found for molding a teeth guard. So there you have it. You've seen how easy it is to be able to use the dental duty dental guards to be able to mold a good, tight fit, comfortable, and protect your teeth at night dental guard and now these again are made by dental duty they're professional dental guards why dental duty first of all they come in two different sizes they use dental grade material it's easy to uh, be able to do the mold and they guarantee their product so dental duty professional grade dental guards